in today's episode, uh, we cut out the hatches, we learned that opposites attract, and we cut more holes in a perfectly good boat. I am so excited. This is awesome. All right, in order to cut out the rear hatch, we need to locate it first. Uh, so they tell you to go 10 inches behind the opening or behind the uh, cockpit opening here um, to the recess. And then uh, place that template right on the center line. So you've got a center line on the template. You know your center line of the boat just based on your, uh, your pattern of your uh, pieces come together. So lay that down on there. Let's take a sharp utility knife. And then what you can do is just go ahead and scratch that pattern right into that uh, epoxy. When you remove that, you'll be able to cut that out. Well, I can't tell you how frightening this is going to be, but you'll probably understand when you get to this point. It's time to cut out the turtle, which I put just hours and hours of work into. It would be fun. Let's see what happens. So it's time to work on this uh, opening. So I've got you know these two uh, hatches, one in the front, one in the back, and obviously they fall through. Um, so on the on the instructions for this, they say to take just some short pieces and you're going to epoxy them in all the way around and build up a little lip for this to, to fit onto, and then you put a uh, a gasket on there, and then you put straps across here, that's what holds it down. And that's fine, that's not a bad way to go, um, but I saw online a couple people that were using, instead of the straps to hold it down, using magnets. And I really like that idea, so I'm going to go that direction. But I also, gluing each one of these, epoxying each one of these on here is just tedious. Um, because the epoxy takes a little while to set, you're mixing it, it's just a pain. So I thought of, you know, what if I took some plywood and shape it to that and then, you know, get it to conform so I could put that inside as a ring like this. So I just hacked out a piece just to see what it would do. The only plywood I could get locally is quarter inch. Uh, really eighth inch would probably work for this, but I couldn't find any and I don't want to wait for it to get shipped here. So I tried the quarter. And it's okay. Um, I think actually if you uh, got rid of one surface of this, because it's got you know, like a birch on both sides of it and then a, a one thick core. Um, if you got rid of one side of that, it would probably flex and make this work and that might be a little easier to, to epoxy in there. But it didn't work very well. I wasn't really happy with it. So I thought, well, let's go back to this idea, but I don't want to glue these in one at a time. So I had this, this cut off that um, from when I cut out the cockpit, and I thought, well, that's the way to go. Glue a bunch of these together and then epoxy those in at once. You know, I just cut this off right here and that would give me, you know, six, seven pieces at a time and then shape the next one, shape the next one. So that's the direction I'm gonna go. And I'm actually using to use these because they are already pre-curved. Whoops, well, now that's two pieces, but yeah, you get the idea, you can make this work. Um, and it will it'll fit that contour. So that's my plan. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so what I've done is I've just cut a piece here, kind of roughly to shape, um, and I put epoxy on that edge. I just put it underneath here and marked where it had to be. And we just gotta line it up in here.
that. So what I'm doing is um, I'm lining these up with the, the deck lines. That way that curvature is just gonna be perfect all the way through. So that's kind of my theory in fitting it in here. And after this cures for a few minutes too, I'm gonna to go through, I'm gonna scrape out all this, this extra material right here. Um, so I don't have anything in the way when that hatch goes to sit down on there. But a couple more clamps on there, I think that'll work very nicely. All right, so I'm making some progress here. I'm working on the, uh, the back um, hatch now. And what I'm doing is, is basically taking these uh, strips and building them on top of here. And I'm just, you know, kind of, uh, as I go, I'm just putting short pieces in now and going around. But by building it on here, I'm, I'm going to build in that curvature as, as, as glue sets. So then once this is set, I'm gonna do a half and a half. I'll take it off and put it underneath and epoxy it from the inside and that will, uh, it'll have that perfect curvature to it. The other advantage is I'm lining up on the, uh, the, the lines from the deck. I'm, I'm aligning these with them. So everything's, it's gonna look good too. But the other advantage is when I get to the middle, I've only got to build that one wedge piece. So I've got pieces coming this way, pieces coming this way, and the one will fit in the middle. And it's just a short one, so it's gonna be really easy to make. So, uh, working pretty well. I'm just gonna actually just get started on this side over here. Got the first piece taped down. And then all you do from there is go in and put your next piece in, cut it to length, glue it, tape it in, just like stripping the deck was. So, pretty easy. Well, I'll tell you what, worked out pretty good. Um, I've got this all glued up. It's got to sit a little bit longer. It's only been going a couple hours now, but basically that worked really nice. Um, I'm just going to be able to cut that out and stick that underneath that rim. Um, I did put a few pieces of tape on both sides here as an index, so I know exactly where to put it back into position. So it'll line up again once I get it to the inside, but uh, what I'll do is throw a clamp on here right now and I'll just trace around that inside so we know exactly where that is, and then uh, we can get that cut out. I'm doing the same thing up here too uh, on the other end. So you can see that I don't have all these in yet, but uh, basically that's what I'm working on, is getting that all infilled. So pretty happy with that. Um, I've got to do this one more time because I need this rim, and then I've got to step down. So there's going to be another layer underneath here. But uh, now that I have a system, this is going really quickly. So I got this piece uh, glued in here. Everything worked really nicely. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah. Pick this up and show you here. So that's what it looks like from the underside. Um, but yeah, pretty easy to do. You can see the epoxy here. So next thing I'll do is I'll trim this back to fit the cockpit um, to the right dimension I want and everything. And then I will put another layer of these, build the same thing on here again, that stick out to hold the gasket and everything. So I gotta figure out all that part yet, but, but it was pretty easy. Wasn't much to it, so I got the front done as well. I've got the magnets laid out how I want them to be here. Um, these are pretty strong. They're rare earth magnets. So I've got another one underneath so I can move these around a little bit. But what I'm thinking about doing, um, you know, I was going to do that second layer in here for the magnets to be on or the gasket. One of the two it had to, had to sit on a different layer. And I'm not sure I want to do that now. Um, just because the farther in I go, the smaller this opening is going to be, you know, this, this little space to get stuff in and out. So I'd really like to leave it alone if I can. So kind of what I did is I just went around and I spaced them all. There's my, this is my gasket material I'm using right here. It's like a three eighths um, compressed. It's an eighth inch thick, but three eighths inch wide. So I got the, got these all spaced three eighths off here. You know, so as I go around, they all fit. And that's all well and good, but I'm not gonna have enough material all the way around here to do that. And I, I don't know if I want to leave the wood out quite this far. I think what I'd like to do is kind of take it, move 
this out of the way. And, and maybe sculpt this in something like that around each one of these. And I'll fiberglass these really well so they have some strength sitting out there. Not sure. Um, Got to think about that a little bit and see what I really want to do. But I like the idea of the magnets. They're just going to make a much cleaner look. That's the package from the magnets right there. Um, I ordered these off Home Depot. They're a uh, half inch diameter, eighth inch thick. And uh, they just come in a package. And you get them all packaged up like this. Um, and they are pretty darn strong. Don't get your fingers between them. That would be bad. As far as the gasket material I chose, I just went and got this rubber window seal. It's uh, 1 16th by 7 seconds is what it says right there, but there's the dimensions on it. Get it to focus. But it's just regular window stuff. It's squishy. It should work pretty well to keep the water out. I can always change that out if it doesn't work in the future. So I've got marked out where I'm going to put all my magnets on here. So that's cool. Um, I determined I don't need to do the, the second layer of there. These are going to be thick enough because I, I just took a scrap here that had been glued up and just use a forstner bit. Drilled a nice hole in there, got it to the point where that's nice and flush so I know my depth. And, uh, and with that, I still have enough depth left that I'm not going through the material. You gotta worry about when you use these uh, things because they've got this little tip that stip, sticks out here. You know, it's, I've seen uh, some people had to grind that off so they didn't go through the material, but this is gonna work pretty well. What I'll do is drill all these in the, uh, in the deck here first, and I'm only gonna go this far. A lot of people will drill it all the way through and then they'll put this piece on and drill from the bottom up. Well, I don't want to do that because then I've got, you know, a through hole here to fill and this is not, just not going to be as stable. So what I'm going to do is just leave it just like that. And where that little divot is in the middle, I'll just drill a 16th inch hole through that and that'll be, I'll be able to come up from the bottom and uh, mark the the top, the lid from that. So that should work pretty well. I've also taken and just marked the depth of this hole right on my drill bit too. So I know kind of where to stop. So as I start here, that'll kind of give me a stopping point. Then as I get close, I'll just keep putting this in here and then checking it. Just don't want to go too far. Almost. There, perfect, just like that, so. Got to do a few more of those now. Okay, I've got this all sanded. Got this tapered down pretty decent right through here, um, all the way around. That's just gonna give it a nice edge to fit to. I'm gonna go ahead and put some thickened epoxy just in that joint, just because it still is just a little bit of a lip there. I don't wanna sand it too much farther because then I'll go through my old fiberglass. And then I've cut pieces here, uh, pre-cut some pieces that'll go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, epoxy painted on there first, and then I'll stick these down and then wet them in.
Okay, I've got all those uh, hatches all epoxied in from the bottom side, and it's uh, it's set up to the touch now anyway, so I was able to cut that fiberglass out of here. I'll uh, show you what I did in the cockpit, because you're supposed to wrap the cockpit as well, you know, around and give this some strength. So I've got that done and wrapped up to here. You're supposed to wrap around the other side too, so let's have a look here. So on the top side, when it's upside down, to get that fiberglass to lay down on here is just about impossible. Uh, it's really tough to do. So what I ended up doing is just coming up to this point. And I'm going to, once this is hardened up, I will sand this flush. And then I'll put a new strip on that starts here, comes down around this, and then I'll sand that down. I'm not sure how everybody else has been doing this. I haven't been able to find anything online where somebody shows that detail. So... Um, it's going to be two layers in, on there instead of one, which I think is probably better, a little heavier. But other than that, more strength is always good. Um, the front end here, I still haven't cut that out yet. I want to make sure what I'm doing in the back is going to work perfectly before I mess up the front. So um, I will go ahead and actually get this all done and test it before I um, drill these in into the front end for the uh, magnets. Thing, but it's uh, ready to test and um, so what I did is I put a little handle on here that will help when it's time to uh, get this thing off here and all you do is you take a loop of this nylon um, I just cut a little slot in here and you put it through there but um, to hold it on the back side you just take that nylon and just melt it down and, and mush it till it's flat and that will hold it right in there and then seal it in there. But here's the part that's really cool. Check this thing out. It just, I mean, you don't want to get your fingers in there. It's, in fact, I can lift, I'm lifting up the boat with it. That's how strong those magnets are. But if I do that, it pops right off. Pretty impressive. I'm pretty happy with it. I am going to add a, uh, a strap on here. So when it's um, open, you know, I can just lay it out like this. I'll have a strap that goes into there just so I don't drop it and let it float away down the river or something. But yeah, 
these magnets are the way to go for sure. But people keep asking me, what are you going to name this boat? And up till now, I didn't really have a name. But today I came up with one because as you can see, this thing's sticking out into my shop into a narrow area right here. And every time I walk past, it just wants to stick me right in the chest. So based on its shape, it's going to be Vlad the Impaler. Okay, so we're up in the, uh, the nose of the boat here right now. I'm gonna do this in the, the front and the back, but um, you wanna put a hardwood wedge in the front here. And the reason I am doing that is, um, I've just cut that to shape with a, with a plane. I wanna be able to put a, uh, uh, a grab handle up here, like a rope through here, or a place to tie it down to a dock, whatever you wanna do. And I don't wanna just go through this Thin material here right you want to get into something solid so I've got a piece of uh, walnut here and by epoxying this into this position then I'll be able to drill through here and have something solid to go to so what I'm going to do is I, I marked where the end of this thing is and I'm just going to put in a little epoxy just to kind of get everything primed here and then what I'm going to do is take this block and I'm going to uh, uh, melt it into place here. Kind of create just a little dam to keep that epoxy from uh, going all crazy on me here. Usually doesn't matter what this looks like because by the time you're done, it's all gonna be covered up. I'll let that uh, dry for just a couple minutes here, not dry, but cool off. So that stuff's firm now. Now I'm just gonna start working this into these joints to make sure it gets completely filled up here. Okay, you just wanna come back and check that every once in a while um, because this stuff is so viscous, it, it will just kinda of work its way down into that joint um, over the next 10, 15 minutes or so. Just, just keep checking it, topping it off as you go. Okay, so we've got the blocks all glued in and that epoxy's all set and cured now everything. I've got that sanded off smooth. The next thing is to put a dowel through here. So what we're gonna do um, is drill a hole right through about there. Stick that dowel through and um, that'll give us a spot to tie a rope on the front of the boat. So I've just kind of Take this over to the drill press and going to drill a uh, hole down the middle of it. I've cut another one here um, that's for the back, a little bit wider, but that'll fit in the back end.
that and slide it back in there and we'll be good. Once it's set, we'll just trim that off. So I got the magnets put in this, uh, the front hatch and in the, the cover here and everything. But what I did is I put those darn magnets, one of them is in upside down. So instead of, <laughs> instead of attracting, they're opposing each other. They don't wanna, they don't wanna land no matter what you do. I've got to take those and, and uh, now like drill them out or something or get rid of them. So I've, I've marked the wrong side. Whoops, uh, I marked that side with an X now, which I should have done in the first place, but I just didn't. And now I've got to get these things out of here and they're epoxied in. So it's going to be kind of interesting. So what I ended up doing here is um, I'm going to use a, uh, a plug cutter. And I made a sleeve for it, so that'll be my guide because that plug cutter doesn't have a center on it, and I've got to cut around these things. I think that's going to work pretty well. So I've got that guide uh, just clamped in place there, and I'm just going to go real slow and just try to chew around that uh, that magnet. See what happens. <laughs> Well, I've got a groove cut in there, so it should go a little easier. Part of the reason you need the guide is because the magnets are attracted to this thing too, which makes it really tough. Hey, look at that! Cool. I just got to do the rest of it. Try this again. Got all these magnets out of the uh, boat now. All you have to do is get them close to these, and they just latch right on the right direction. What I should have done before I put this all together before, just mark the bottom side of these. So as you put them in, now when they go in the boat, you know the X goes down. So much easier. Just doing a quick layout here of where the, uh, the soft pad eyes will go. So if you're not familiar with these, they're just as I showed how to make these bunches the other day, these uh, little loops the other day, but they're just going to pull through the deck and just be sticking out here like this. And basically that's for all the, uh, the bungee cords to wrap through and tie onto and all kinds of other things. So um, I'm just going to make them symmetric, you know, one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, so it'll cross over. Um, but I'm just getting that layout done here because what you're supposed to do next is on the underside here, we're gonna put a couple layers of fiberglass just to reinforce that area. That way if these ever get yanked on, um, just gives them some extra strength. I've also got the paddle park in place here. Um, again, if you're not familiar with that, that's just a spot where the, the rod from the paddle, the, the handle will lay across here. And you'll take one of these bungees, take it across, and it'll lock into there. And that just holds that in place for you while you're uh, floating or whatever. So make sure you get that done. I'm, I'm doing that before I connect the hull to the deck. That way um, I don't have to worry about trying to reach in here and fiberglass this inside of here, which is kind of tough to do. <laughs> 